Hello viewers, Sunday Joseph Adenuga is my name, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. I'm here with you again to speak on the topic, Deliverance from the Power of Fear. Deliverance from the Power of Fear. Fear is one of the biggest obstacles that many people face when trying to create better lives for themselves in this world. Fear has crippled more destiny than gun and cutlasses. Fear has led so many people to early graves. Fear has been responsible for many failures that man has experienced on the face of the earth. So in this presentation, I want to talk to you about the necessary steps to, to take in order to be delivered from the fear of failure the fear of dying every fear that affects man's destiny this present in this presentation i'm going to try as much as possible to talk it to you about how to prevent and to conquer fear now before i do that i just want you to understand that fear can prevent you from making positive changes when you are afraid to make positive changes it is because of the presence of fear. Fear can prevent you from breaking destructive habits. Maybe you have a destructive habit. Any habit that is destructive, like smoking, if you are smoking and you cannot leave that thing, cigarette or Indian hem, the fear of leaving it, then how would you be? That fear will come out of your life today. Now just stretch your hands towards this telecast, this is your video or computer and let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, this man or woman that is listening to me that has been bound by the habit of nicotine, either in their hem or cigarette or cocaine, I pray for you, receive the power to be delivered from that habit now in the name of Jesus. Yes, it is done. You are delivered now in Jesus' name. Fear can also prevent you from taking risk. Risk that can bring a lot of returns on your investment. Fear can prevent you from taking such risks. Remember, there is an English proverb that says, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you don't venture, you cannot gain, you cannot profit. So fear can also prevent you from pursuing your goals in life. Fear can prevent you from expanding your life. Now, let me tell you some more common fears. Fear of dying. Fear of failure. Fear of success. Yes, you'll be surprised. So many people fear real success. That fear will come out of you after listening to me in this presentation in the name of Jesus. Fear of rejection. So many people have not gotten married because they have experienced rejection before. Because they have been rejected in time past does not mean that you will be rejected again. So stop fearing rejection. Then fear of not being good enough. Many people, you know, are afraid of making progress because they think they are not good enough. Fear of not being good enough come out of it. You are good enough. In fact, you are the best that God created. You are the best that can ever be. So stop fearing that you are not good enough, that other people are better than you. No! It is not like that. Then some have, fear, some have the fear of losing money. Fear of losing all. Fear of losing your loved ones. Some of you, you are a man, you are a woman. You are fearing, you are afraid that you may lose your husband or you may lose your wife. That fear is not from God. You cannot lose what God has given you. If that man is for you from God or that woman is from God, do not be afraid of losing him. You cannot lose your blessing. You cannot lose what God has given you. The Bible says in the book of Romans, he said the gift and the calling of God, they are without repentance. When God gives you something, God has given you, he cannot take it back from you except that thing was not given to you by God if that thing is from God the devil cannot take it from you that is just the truth of the matter 
So these are some of the fears I want to. Now, but fear triggers two reaction in every man. The first reaction it triggers is fear. Fear triggers flight. Sorry, it triggers flight. It, it, it makes you to fly, to 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 run away from anything that you are fearing. It triggers flight. Then the second trigger, the second action it triggers is fight. When fear comes, you fight it. You say, no, I'm not going to fear this. This is small. I am bigger than this. I reject this. This is too small to make me too afraid. I am too strong to be weakened by the effect of this fear. So, in every man, these are the two actions that fear triggers. It triggers flight, that is to run away from that thing, that, that from that object of fear. Or to make you stand and say, no, as far as I'm concerned, I am going to do it and nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to gain it. I'm going to conquer it. That is fight. You fight that thing that makes you to be afraid. You fear that thing that wants to conquer you. Fear triggers flight or fight. What is he going to trigger in you? It has always triggered fight in me. Anything that wants to make me to be afraid, I stand strong and I say no. From today, begin to say no to that thing that makes you to be afraid. Say no. Yes. <laughs> That's it. When you say no, the fear we fear. Hey, hallelujah. Fear we fear you. That thing that makes you to be afraid, we be afraid. You got to learn how to inject fear into fear. Hallelujah. That is what is called boldness. Boldness is not the absence of fear. Boldness is the ability to continue in spite of fear. Boldness is to move ahead even though you are afraid. <laughs> boldness is the ability to be fit, to be afraid and yet to move on. You are afraid, but yet you are moving on. That's boldness. You need to be bold. Hallelujah. The Lord will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Never run away from anything that, that, that brings fear. Fight it. Don't run away. Don't run away. Fight it. Fight it. Fight. I love David. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, when Goliath came, even King Saul, the Bible says that King Saul was soldier head above every man in Israel. That means that Saul that was made king was so tall that there was no man in Israel that was as high as him. He was soldier head above. That means that every other man was at a soldier, the, the tallest man in Israel. As big and tall as this man was, when he saw Goliath, he was afraid. There was no man in Israel that was not afraid. But young David moved ahead and he did something and he conquered Goliath. You can be that David. Conquer your fear. The Lord is with you. He will strengthen you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, this man or woman who has listened to this broadcast, let the power of boldness come upon him or her. Receive now as you listen to me the power of boldness to move ahead in business, to move ahead in life, to move ahead in your family relationship, to move ahead in everything that you do. Receive the power in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. I have done it again. This is the end of the topic. Deliverance from the power of fear. God bless you. Once again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. Thank you for listening. You can contact me at successdimensionchurch at gmail.com or phone me in, on, through this number, plus 234-80-540-414-62. God bless you. Or visit my website, www.motivationfortoday.com. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' name. Come back to my website again and listen to more of my telecast. I have so many videos recorded and I have so many videos uploaded to YouTube. God bless you as you listen to all of my videos. You can support this ministry by sending your, your check 
to me, Sunday Joseph Adenoga at um, let me give my address is going to be found in any of my website. Yes, God bless you for supporting this ministry in Jesus' name. Amen.